Hello. In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called adding rational expressions with linear denominators without common factors. So we're asked to add these two fractions and anytime we're adding fractions we want to first look at these denominators. They're not the same so we will need to get a common denominator and those expressions are each a single term. So that means that whenever we do add these our common denominator will have to have an x minus 5 term and it will also have to have an x plus 4 term. Knowing that, I'm going to give myself a little bit more room and start with this first term, 3 over x minus 5. And to get the common denominator, that x minus 5 would need to be multiplied by the x plus 4. And to multiply the denominator by x plus 4, I have to also multiply the numerator by x plus 4. Then for the second term, it has the x plus 4. So with the 4 and the x plus 4, this denominator will need to be multiplied by x minus 5. And to do so, I would need to do the same in the top, multiply by x minus 5. That would allow me to add the two fractions and have the x minus 5, x plus 4, our common denominator. Distributing the 3 in the first term here, we would have 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 4 is 12. And then for the second term, that's a positive 4 times x plus 4x, and 4 times minus 5 is minus 20. From here, I can combine like terms. 3x and a 4x will give me a 7x, and then the plus 12 minus 20 will give me a minus 8. We're asked to simplify as much as possible, but there's nothing to factor out in the numerator. And now that we've found the denominator, our answer is 7x minus 8 over that lowest common denominator.